Cameron for Tweaktown. Uh, this is our second video for Computex Taipei 2012. Uh, we're in the Taipei 101 building. As you can see, we've got a nice view outside. Uh, we're here on the 36th floor, and we're here with Gigabyte. And one of the big things for Computex is Ultra Durable 5. And uh, we have Colin over here starting some boards for us. And I'm just going to talk about them real quickly. Um, these are these are both new boards. The, they are, I believe, both uh, Z77, that's correct? This is X79. 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 And this is Z77. Okay, all right. So now oh, this... No. no, wait, you're right. They're both Z77. Okay, both Z77, no, no problem. And this uh, is one of the first uh, Thunderbolt boards, I believe. Yes, this is a Thunderbolt board. This yep. is our Z77 uh, XUP5TH. Okay. And now uh, this board here, that we can see here, uh, which one, which board is this, Colin? This is our Z77 X UP7. Okay. Now, um, the, and these are both, these both, these, both of these boards are ultra durable 5 supported. Um, that's denoted by the P uh, in the model name. So we'll give you a quick look at this board. Now, what we want to focus on and what Gigabyte is really focusing on, what we've just been uh, introduced to, is the, the, the power, the power part of the board. And the chokes here, this is 32 phase, which is incredible. It's an insane amount of uh, power for the CPU. Now, over on this board, what's really special is it's using uh, the new uh, 60 amp uh, chokes. Uh, so each one of these is supported up to around uh, 60 amps. So if we come over here, that doesn't mean too much. But if we come over here and we show you, um, Gigabyte on Ultra Durable 5 is using this uh, power stage setup and it uses the IR3550 uh, uh, power stage. So on a normal, for a MOSFET uh, setup on a normal motherboard, you would have parts, uh, several parts here, the driver SC, uh, this MOSFET, and different other MOSFETs. This new design, is, power stage design, it, uh, it, it um, includes all of these chips in one, so it's much more efficient, there's less power leakage, um, better efficiency and all that. So, if you come over here, they have some of these uh, mock-ups here. You can see this is the IR3550 power IR stage. Um, so you can see here the difference. There are four different components here. Um, and the benefit here is you have all of these components built into one, one chip here. So there's a big, uh, big diagram here. And I'm going to move over here. Now we have uh, we have three different motherboards set up here. Z77 motherboards, the exact same components, exact same CPU, exact same clock speeds, exact everything. That's what we've been told. Um, now you can see in the back here, we have a demo here. Each of these are running at uh, the screen. I think it's gone into screen server mode or something. Or well, the CPU is running at 100% on each of them. This system keeps crashing. Um, we're running loading, 100 loading, 100% loading. This one we're running at 90% loading, but it's getting too hot, so it keeps crashing on us. Okay. So. All right. <laughs> uh, okay. So we've got one board here. You can see all the labels have been hidden. Uh, there's another board here, and then there's another one over here. Uh, now this is this is a gigabyte board. Okay. So if we look over here, this is for the first system. This one. You can see a temperature here of one of the MOSFETs has been measured at uh, almost 100 degrees, 99. And this is an eight phase board. And this is eight phase? Okay. Eight phase D-pack, and then this one's a six phase D-pack. Okay. And this is six phase power stage. Okay. Now, this is, uh, I believe, this is, this is going to be loading now to 90%? Yeah, so I have to actually start this one up again. Okay. Um, actually, as you can see, it's cooled down quite a bit. Okay. It's running a similar temperature to this one. Okay. So now it's going to heat up because it's uh, loading to 90%. Uh, you'll see it heat up gradually. Um, but we'll, while that's heating up, we look over. This is a gigabyte board, and it's and it's based on Ultra Durable Five technology. And you can see that it's running at 65 degrees Celsius. Of course, much much cooler than the first board. And the second board here is heating up 
So obviously these new uh, components that uh, Gigabyte are using on Ultra Drupal 5 motherboards, two that you just saw before for the first time, uh, are making uh, quite a big difference. So this has been Camera for Tweaktown at uh, the Gigabyte uh, room in Taipei 101. I hope you enjoyed the video.